Hi everyone, this is Joanna. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I wanted to show you how to use acrylic paints on polymer clay. And this is one of the pendants that I just made the other day. I already put resin on it. It looks so pretty. I really, really love it. Here are a couple more that I was playing with. And this is all made with the acrylic paint. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. The paint that I'm using is cobalt blue, which is a little bit of metallic in it. Uh, uh, there is a green and these two blues. These are actually a little bit too close to each other, so I really could just use one of them. I don't think that they really show, the difference really shows. So I have the paint right here and my water, and I'm going to start adding it. Cobalt blue is probably my favorite. So I'm going to put it at the bottom and then follow with the lighter blues. And I'm going to put quite a bit of it because after I'm done, um, I will let it dry. So you're not going to be using it just as is right now. I'm adding some green and it you know, having a little bit of a darker color actually helps add some lighter. Okay, and my cobalt. So it's okay if it has a little bit of a texture. If you leave it out, let it dry for a few hours. Okay, so this is going to be it. I'm going to let it sit and dry. Just a little few. Oh, I love the cobalt. All right. Okay, so I'm going to leave that on the side and let it dry. And I already did this a couple of hours ago. It's pretty dry, and uh, you can see that you can touch it. It's not going to come off. And now I'm ready to play with it. I already rolled out translucent polymer clay and I uh, rolled it out on the thinnest setting on the pasta machine so it's very very thin. I'm going to uh, put it on top, make sure it's nice and smooth. And we're going to run it through the pasta machine again. So I just cut off the excess. And at this point, you will be running it through the pasta machine or roll it out without pasta machine, whatever, whatever you're doing, um, until you get the effect that you, you're after. So let's just make sure that this is nice and flat and I'm going to run it through the pasta machine right now. Okay, so I run it under the number two of the pasta machine and you can see that there's stuff happening. You can see white coming through. Um, this is a little bit too dark for me still. Uh, I want some more action, so let me run it at a, th at a th uh, thinner setting. Okay, so this is number five, and you can see that there's more white coming through, and you can see the green, the cobalt. I'll do it one more on a thinner setting. Okay, yeah, see, that's what I like. I love the flow. I really like the way it looks. So, let me put it, I already rolled out some white, and I'm going to put it on top of white. Oops. I really love the movement that it's creating. It's really, really neat. I'm going to leave that my for another pendant and I'll create something with this so let this is thick enough so that's fine 
All right, so let me just, you know, I kind of feel like free cutting it. This one was a form that I used, so was this one. I'm going to try to free cut it and see how it turns out. So free hand it. Oops. Well, um, I can tell you it's not going very well because I just slipped. <laughs> All right, so there. I like that white. I think I want to incorporate the white in the pendant for sure. Mm -hmm. Do I want to make it this? No, let me do it this. We got a little chunky thing going on here. All right. So there you go. This is going to be my pendant. Look at that. How neat is that? Do you see the movement here? I kind of like the freehand stuff. Maybe I want to cut it just a little bit more at an angle here. There. Yeah, I think I like that. I like that better. Anyways, so this is super easy and look how much we got we still have so much left over that I can work with and I might make another pendants like these now I'm going to throw this one in the oven maybe I'll make a few more with these colors that I made here and I will show you on my blog how it comes out but here are the different finishes that I use. So when you're going to bake it, of course, the translucent is going to be even more translucent. And it's going to really, the colors will really pop. And then right here, I put resin on. So you can see the difference between just a satin varnish and resin. And honestly, I like satin, uh, I, I like resin better than the satin varnish on this one. It's not that it's popping any colors out in particular. I just I just like it. I think it looks just for it. It's just so pretty. So hope you guys enjoy this very quick, simple tutorial and get to work with your acrylic point and paints. Another way to use a product that you may already may have in your drawer. Till next time, my friends. Ta-ta.